So are you looking for ways to make passive income, but you don't know which passive income stream to choose? Today, we're gonna dive into a topic that I know most of you are interested in, and that's passive income. Specifically, we'll be discussing seven passive income streams that you can start doing right now to earn you some extra money online. Whether you're looking to supplement your income or build wealth over time, these ideas can help you achieve your financial goals. If you're new here, I'm Latoya Nicole, and I help online entrepreneurs get to the bag and build their book business and get to the Bible strengthening your relationship with Christ. If you wanna learn more about either, then make sure you go ahead and click the like button below and go ahead and subscribe. Okay, so I told you we're gonna be talking about passive income, but let's start here. What is passive income? So essentially, passive income is when you make money that's not directly related to your time. So you would be providing value in such a way that you don't have to exchange your time for money like you would with a typical nine to five job. But I do wanna let you know, it's not a get rich quick scheme. You will have to put in hard work up front that will eventually earn you money over time. So don't think of it as passive income where you're just gonna be making money in your sleep the way that most people will tell you about passive income. It's not that you won't make money in your sleep, but I don't want you to be deceived thinking that you don't have to put in any type of work to build a business and that you don't have to put in any type of work to continue to grow the business because from my experience with earning passive income, nothing is actually 100% passive. And even sometimes you'll even have to update your system. So there is work that you'll have to continue to do, but the reason that I love it is because there's no cap on how much you can make. You know, when you're working a nine to five, in exchange for your time, you can only make a certain amount of hours, right? Because they're only gonna give you maybe 40 hours a week if you're, if you're an overtimer, um, they may give you 50 to 60 hours a week, but that's the most you would be able to earn because you have to be able to still support your family, have time off for self-care and everything like that. So with passive income, there is no cap on it, meaning you can make as much income as your business can grow and possibly scale over time. So that is one of my top reasons for loving passive income and for always looking for extra ways that I can earn passive income online. So the seven things that we're gonna be discussing today, I have either used them or currently use them in my business models to grow my business and make my monthly income each month. And now with my systems in place and me knowing how to efficiently market businesses, I make 100% of my income online. But what are some of the things that you can do to start creating passive income online? So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna be talking about is something that I got introduced to in 2018 when I published my first book. And I'm glad that I was introduced to it because I'm not gonna say I would have never found out about it, but I probably wouldn't have found out about it until much later. And this is affiliate marketing. Essentially, affiliate marketing is when you are selling other people's products, but you're getting a percentage of the sales. So let's say, for example, if you're using an affiliate program like Amazon Associates and you just released your new book, you're excited about it, you wanna post the book information on your Facebook page. So you tell people your background story, what inspired you to write your book and how lovely the book is. And then people start asking you, hey, where can we purchase the book? What's the link? You would then use your Amazon link and you would post that link to your Facebook page so that people can click on that link and then that will track the sales so that Amazon knows to give you a percentage or a kickback on each sale made from the book. And one of the other reasons I love Amazon Associates is because not only will it work for your book, but it works for other products. So whatever they use that link for, let's say they buy your book and 10 other things that they already have in their Amazon shopping cart, then that means you're gonna get a kickback on everything they purchase. So this is really beneficial and you can see income growing month after month by simply just using your link. You don't have to do anything extra, but give them your link. And the Amazon Associates program is an easy way that you can monetize your personal website or even your blog. You would just sign up, get approval, and like I said, place your Amazon links on your site or your social media channels. You get the commission. Simple. 
And to sign up for Amazon Associate, you would just click on the Amazon Associates homepage, click sign up, and then you would enter all your information, such as your website address, your preferred store ID. And then you also have to explain to them how you drive traffic to your site. Then you would choose your payment method and create your Amazon links. Okay, so the next one is going to be one of my top favorites as well. Well, y'all, I love basically all of them because I love being able to just make money that just continues to grow for me each month. So this next one is one of my top three favorites though, and that is digital products. Now, digital products can include eBooks and templates. Let's say if you create templates using sites like Canva, you just want to sell them or even coloring pages. I know for myself with my coloring book brand, I've created coloring book pages that you can actually purchase as a single. You know, most of the time with coloring books, it comes with the whole book and all the pages, but sometimes people just want one page. And sometimes people may want to just download that one page on their specific type of paper that they want, which is probably gonna be like a thicker paper or maybe perforated paper where they can color using watercolor or anything like that. So when you sell digital products, this is a way that you could create that product or upload that product one time and people continue to purchase that same product over and over. And when I first started selling products online, like in 2015, I was selling, um, I had started my online boutique. And so for my online boutique, everybody was asking, oh, how do you start the online boutique? So then I started selling an ebook and my ebook was about $20, $25 back then. And when I started selling the ebook, I started making thousands a month selling ebooks. So that's when I noticed, listen, digital products is the way to go. So this is something that you may want to consider as a stream of passive income for yourself. You can either use sites like Etsy to sell your digital products, or you can use your own website through platforms like Shopify. And if you use platforms like Shopify, you would just download a digital app called Digital Downloads. And then whenever someone would purchase your ebook or your coloring page, then because you would already have that saved and uploaded as a PDF document, it would automatically go to them when they make their purchase. So they would get it and you don't have to do anything. So it's hands off and you just make your money. Now with digital products, like any of the other products, all you would basically need to do is send traffic in order to make sales. Number three is gonna be YouTube videos. So with YouTube videos, you will be making income um, from ads. So the way it would work is every time someone will click on an ad that's, that's shown in front of your video or in the middle of your video or maybe at the end of your video, then when someone clicks on it, you earn a percentage of the ad cost that they had to pay. So a lot of people like to start YouTube channels and grow the YouTube channel and start generating a source of income. A lot of people have built businesses like this. Now for this one specifically, this is something I'm just starting to get into. So I am not currently monetized as we speak, but hopefully I'll be monetized soon. Um, there are certain requirements that you have to have. One of the requirements is that you have to have 1,000 subscribers in order to be monetized. And you also have to have 4,000 hours of watch time. So people have to actually be watching your videos. So you have to learn the algorithm of YouTube and what it takes for people to click on your video and to continue to watch the video throughout the entirety of the video or as much as possible. So if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, all you would do is create an account by registering with a Google email and then walk through the steps to complete your account profile. From there, you would start creating videos. I know a lot of people that I've seen, they usually are consistent with creating videos about once a week. Sometimes people do twice a week, but you want to do a consistency that works for you so that you can start growing your channel over time. Okay, I had to run and turn the light on real quick because it was starting to get dark outside. I waited too late to record this video, but I'm getting this video out tonight. So I had to go turn on the lights. So I hope it doesn't mess anything up. Number four is another one of my top favorites, and it is going to be online courses. Now, online courses is very similar to like ebooks, but online courses generally are when you are putting things in video format. So a lot of times with online courses, because online courses can range anywhere from about $500 to $2,000 for the course, 
A lot of times they're either going to be in video format or live format, right? So you're actually putting your face on camera or doing some type of video to connect with the audience to teach them. And it doesn't have to be expensive to start selling online courses. All you really need is yourself, a website, and a topic you can teach. I've seen people teach online courses using platforms like Zoom. Some people even do private Facebook groups and teach it that way. Some people pre-record their online courses. So there's a host of ways that you can do this and really make some great income. What you would do is you would find a topic that people want to learn about or, or something that people are searching on or something that you know something about. Like, for example, if you sell books and now you understand the process of selling because your books have been selling or you just want to teach someone the process of doing it, then you can start teaching an online course about how to create books. I mean, it's, it's just a host of things. I've seen people teach online courses about Zoom, but online courses about music classes. Like anything can be an online course these days, guys. People really want to learn. This is a digital world and digital market is growing. So go ahead and think of an idea. Go ahead and get you a website host name. Lock that down. You can go to sites like Namecheap.com. Get you a, a, a website name for, what, about $10. And, um, you know, go ahead and secure that and start figuring out how you're going to get your course off the ground if that's something that you're interested in creating. And if you're interested in my newest online course, which is called Book Bag University, this is where we take a deep dive in learning how I was able to grow my company to a multi six figure company. We'll learn my marketing secrets as well as my blueprint for scaling your own book business to six figures. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you go visit bookbaguniversity.com to sign up for the waitlist to enroll. Okay. So number five is going to be print on demand. Now print on demand is just a wide range of things that you can do. But print on demand is basically where you can sell your own custom designs on different types of products. Items that are currently being sold on print on demand are things like t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, mugs, bags, stationery, phone cases, stickers, and prints. So again, there's a lot of things that you can choose for print on demand. And what it is, is you would be using a third party provider to just upload your design to their platform. And then they would in turn print your design on whatever you want it on. And then whenever someone buys your product, when you send the traffic to your website and a customer purchases that specific product, that third party print on demand company like Zazzle or like Merch by Amazon, they would take care of everything else like the printing and the shipping. A lot of people have scaled their print on demands company to uh, multi six figure businesses. I've seen even some million dollar businesses with print on demand, especially like t-shirts and merch. And number six, you already know this is my other top three favorite. And this is publishing a book. You can publish books like coloring books, workbooks, guided journals, children's books, any type of book you want to publish on Amazon, KDP. All you would do is decide on your niche, create the interior and the cover of the book, and then upload it to KDP's platform by going to kdp.amazon.com. Now, if you want to learn more about the publishing process, I do have more videos on that. I'll link it somewhere up here. The key with publishing a book is not to just publish something that you think will sell, but to do ample amount of research to find out what is already selling and then publish that. Now, that's not to discourage you that if you had a lifelong dream to publish a type of book, you know, not to publish it because by all means you should. But if you actually want to scale your business and make it easier on yourself to sell your book, then you want to do research to find out what types of books are selling, what types of books are already making money so that you can understand better what type of niche you may want to go into and what niches are lucrative or still needing books published in that specific market. When I first published my brand, Entrepreneur's Color 2, I knew from experience because I was looking for coloring books that had black or brown women on the cover and I couldn't find any. So I knew that niche 
needed to be diversified. Now guys, this was in 2018. This was not now. Now there's plenty of books like that. But back in 2018, there were no books that I could find with realistic characters of coloring books. So that is why I wanted to get into that niche because I wanted a coloring book that I could appreciate, right? So you just look for voids and find them and then scale it and grow your business over time. Now, of course, with publishing, the reason that people love book publishing is because you're just putting your book on a website like Amazon or on your personal website, which I do suggest that you do build a personal website, even if you start growing your business on Amazon, because you should be sending traffic to your website as well, because you're, especially if you're trying to build a lucrative business over time. If you don't know how to create artwork for your book or anything like that, I do always suggest using sites like Fiverr to find a cover artist or sites like Upwork where you can hire someone to create your cover or your artwork inside of your book. Typically for a book cover, I have seen book cover designers range from about $5 to about $125, but it just depends on what you're looking for. So test them out and then kind of go from there. Okay, and last but not least is Amazon FBA, which stands for Fulfilled by Amazon. This is a service that allows you to put your physical products on Amazon stores. So you would be outsourcing through a manufacturer, whether the manufacturer is in the USA or overseas. And then once you get that manufacturer to produce your product that you want to sell on Amazon, you will have them ship the um, products directly to Amazon. So it will be a hands-off service for you where you're steady making sales each month and growing your business. And you just have to basically just keep up with the inventory. A lot of times people hire VAs to continue to keep up with the inventory and just work that for them so that it can be a hands-off business for them. And just like with Merch by Amazon or with printing your books on Amazon KDP, you don't have to worry about any customer service because uh, Amazon is going to pick, pack, and ship your product to the customer on your behalf. And this is what makes it considered passive or that you're not having to do anything else besides manufacture the product, get the product to them, and then it will sell for you over time. With all seven of these, you will have to send traffic or some do some type of marketing to keep your sales growing, whatever you choose, because you know it's easy to put a product up, but you want the product to sell and you want your business to grow and you will have to invest in marketing and systems in order to create a lucrative business that will scale over time. Now with Amazon FBA, you'll just need a seller central account and a registered business to get started. Each of these ideas has the potential to generate passive income online, but it's important to choose one that aligns with your skills, your interests, and your personal goals. And remember, although passive income can require less effort than traditional income streams, it still does require effort to set it up and to maintain it. So I hope you find these ideas helpful. And don't forget to like and subscribe below. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.